standby for manual transmission in three, two, one. This time, on a very special Dextra. Extra. No cold open skits, 43% fewer jokes, and no minced words. Dun dun, da da dun, da da dun, da da dun. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Oh seven commanders, nuggets, and empty triangles. Manus Dexter here with the video he never wanted to make. So I know the title card says something like how to solve 75% of all the problems in Elite Dangerous Odyssey with just two clicks. And that's not clickbait. If you're not interested in my preamble, check the description for a timestamp to the solution. And while you're there, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Elite Dangerous Odyssey content. It only takes a moment, but it really helps to keep your old Uncle Manus in low frame rates and disappointment. <sighs> so if you're still here, I want you to know how special you are. You're Uncle Manus' favorite turd, and I promise to never shit you. The truth is, I've had access to Elite Dangerous Odyssey since the Alpha, but I haven't covered it on the channel because I didn't really have anything positive to say about it, so I figured I would wait until the release. But here we are at the time of recording one week, three hotfixes, two patches, and one sincere apology from David Braben on his way to the bank, no doubt, later, and it is still my sad duty to report that Odyssey's days of being half-baked and buggy are certainly coming to a middle. Over the last four and a half years or so, I've logged about 2,500 hours of playtime with a good 1,500 of those hours in VR. Elite Dangerous Horizons is one of the best VR experiences you can have. Here's a bit of VR bounty hunting I did in Horizons while also recording a 1080p spectator window. The 2D really fails to convey how cool and intense this is in virtual reality. For comparison, here I am bounty hunting in VR at the same location in Odyssey after the latest version 1.1 patch. Ish. The best thing I can say about this is that it didn't make me blow chunks. So yeah, things are still pretty bad, but they will get fixed, because I'll let you in on a little secret. While FDev doesn't give a shit about my personal enjoyment or yours, they do like money. And in order to continue making money, they will need to fix this. Hence, they will. Right now they're asking for specific help and feedback on performance issues, the map UI, etc. Check the description for a link if you'd like to contribute. You know, FDev should increase your ability to earn free arcs while playing Odyssey and lift the 400 arcs weekly cap too. Anyone willing to beta test for them should get something extra for their time and trouble. Since I'm a grumpy old bastard, I'm just going to avoid Odyssey as much as possible until it's actually finished. Which brings us to our solution. You know, there's a truly great space sim buried underneath Odyssey. No, really, literally right the fuck there under Odyssey in the game launcher. These two clicks will get you to it in flat screen mode. If you want to launch Horizons in VR, you'll need to launch Odyssey in Steam VR first, and then exit the game. After that, you can choose Horizons from the launcher, as previously shown, and it will launch the game in VR. If you're new to the game, you might not be aware, but whether you play the game in Horizons or Odyssey mode, you will keep your same commander, all your ships, and any progress you make in one mode will follow you in the other. 
Right now, if you want to do anything in a ship or an SRV, that is combat, exploration, or trading easily 75% of the game, it will be experienced best by most commanders in Horizons. And if you're playing in VR, it'll blow your balls off. If you're a female commander playing Horizons in VR, it will make you grow balls, but don't worry, because it will then immediately blow them off, so you'll be good as new, and you'll get to play a great VR game just like the dudes. But yeah, if you're new to the game with Odyssey and you've been having performance issues, please try Horizons. I bet you'll like it a lot better. Anyway, that's the best I can offer for now, although, if you really have your heart set on some fun sci-fi ground combat, I might be able to hook you up. It's a bit stompier than what Odyssey has to offer, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, just remember, Odyssey will get fixed eventually, and until then, there's still good hunting in Horizon space. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation.